Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when and where you're watching. Welcome to another JW Adventures video. In today's video, we're going to be replacing one J with another. Janelle's going to be behind the camera for a few scenes, and then my buddy Jared is actually going to be in the video leading the pickled pipe recipe. Today's video is going to take place over the course of a few days. What we don't unfortunately have on camera is my buddy Jared filleted up about 20 northern pike. The fish have been caught by myself, Jared, a few of our other friends over the course of the last couple months. Jared took time to fillet all the fish. I went over to Jared's house and cut up the fish and we put the fish in a salt water solution. Again, unfortunately I don't have that part on video. At the time I didn't have my camera, so the video is going to take place starting when we take the fish out of the salt water solution and put them into a vinegar solution. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to follow us. We have about seven and a half pounds of northern pike that have been sitting in a salt water solution for not quite 48 hours, probably about 41, 42 hours. We're gonna take them out, rinse them off, and then put in some vinegar, and that's gonna help dissolve the bones. That's gonna make them edible. Uh, once we put them in the pickling solution. So let's rinse these off and then we'll add the vinegar. You see, put them down the disposal. <laughs> I said minced fish, not pickled fish. Northern pipe bones in your disposal sharpens the blades. <laughs> All the northern has been rinsed. We're gonna add some vinegar. Vinegar solution sits in there for 48 hours, helps dissolve the bones, so that way when you put them in jars with the pickling solution, it'll be edible and not a bunch of bones in there. And it's actually nice because that way you don't have to worry about taking out all the bones when you're filleting them. It's a big guy. <laughs> Okay, so the fish has been sitting in the vinegar in the fridge for about 30 hours. I'm gonna take it out, give it a stir, see what it looks like. Let's take a look. Wow, look at how white that has turned and it's only been 30 hours. That's awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it up a little bit just to make sure the vinegar's getting all the pieces of fish. You can definitely smell the vinegar. Not only has it gotten really white, it's definitely gotten firm. Oh, you can feel how much firmer it is than when I put it in there. It's so interesting because when I put the fish in here originally, you could definitely feel a bunch of the bones, but I've picked up 10 pieces so far and I don't feel a single bone. That's what it's supposed to do. So it's doing its job. That's neat. So I'm gonna put the plastic back on, put the lid back on. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. I have to go to work tomorrow. When I get done with work, I'm gonna come home, grab the fish, I'm gonna go over to my buddy Jared's house and we're going to finish the process. We're gonna take the fish out, we're gonna rinse it off, and then we're gonna put it into mason jars with some of the pickling solution that we made. Stay tuned, tomorrow night we'll make that. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Monday, five o'clock, just got home from work, came home simply to grab the fish. Gonna run to the store to grab some mason jars. Gonna run to my buddy Jared's house, that's where we're actually gonna do the pickling process. We're gonna boil up a pickling solution, put the fish in the actual solution, those are gonna sit in the jars for about two weeks before we actually dive into it and try it. So we've got a couple stops before we get to my buddy Jared's house and then let the fun begin.
As we walk into Cub, I'm gonna share with you guys, I'm a little disappointed in myself. I had all weekend to pick up onions, jars. I was supposed to grab wine. Luckily, Jared's a good guy and he bought that. Had all weekend to do this stuff and I totally spaced. Partially because I was filming and editing another video for you guys, so hope you enjoy. I am finally at Jared's house. I got a long story I'll tell you guys later because I'm gonna go inside and start getting these fish pickled, but had a heck of a time trying to find some mason jars. Anyways, going into Jared's. See you guys in a sec. Oh, oh a buddy, hi. How's it going, dude? Good. All right, so we just got back for the 37th time from the store. It's literally been something like that. A hundred hours since I was here, and we originally put the fillets in the salt water solution. Yep. So taking them out of the vinegar, going to start getting to work on the pickling solution. Uh, we'll run through the steps with that uh, here in a second. See if I can get them all in there. It'll be too much, but we'll see. I don't know if we ever made this much before at one time. It's a lot of fish. What do we say? About seven and a half pounds? I think, yeah, right around seven. Yeah. Like seven and a half. On that hidden little bag sitting somewhere? Yeah, in the, that, in yeah, the freezer? That one bag, that one fillet <laughs> that had it to be about a half pound, so. Just enough. Wow. Food. So that's probably a six quart, a four quart. I have no idea. Probably a four quart Honestly, container. I don't even know where I got this. Probably from my mom sometime. I have no idea. It's old, but it's like only classic. Only it's vintage. Time, first time I used it. <laughs> so, uh, well, I rinse this. You can probably get that going because you need to dissolve the sugar and before we add the wine, because you don't want to boil the wine. All right, so we're going to do six cups of sugar, six cups and of sugar, and then eight, eight cups, cups of, of vinegar. Yep, so we're doing a double recipe. All right. Measuring cup, top right, big glass one. And then I have, uh, Measure, I measure the sugar first. Just so Otherwise, it'll just stick to the yeah. inside of it. You have a dry measure. I do, but I think it's in the dishwasher. And I'm human, I do have dirty dishes up here. You know, that's funny, it's like our main goal to go to bed without dirty dishes, but inevitably, it always happens where it's like, Oh, that fork looks really hard to wash. Well, I don't, I don't run the dishwasher every night. Huh? I don't run the dishwasher every night. No, but like I'm saying, when we have a, when we have dishes, and I'll like do all the dishes from oh, dinner. I said you just have. But then I'll like have a snack later at night, and I'll be eating with a fork. There'll like, be a one, that'll stay there till morning. One plate and a fork. One plate and a fork. Janelle will get up. She'll be like, "What'd you have last night?" <laughs> Yeah, is it uh, pretty crazy how the uh, add the salt solution, the fish is kind of soft and slimy, and then you put it in the vinegar and it gets nice and firm and white? Well, and it's funny, my dad said this, he said exactly when it came out, he goes, are you sure all these bones are going to dissolve? And I said, talk to Jared, and he said the vinegar is really what does it. And yep. Honestly, even after about 30 hours, I took those out, felt a couple handfuls, I did not feel a single bone. All right, six cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Yes, it is. <laughs> but then we also need eight cups. Eight, yeah. eight cups of vinegar. Okay. The other cool thing I noticed is take it out of the salt water. Still had a little bit of a fishy smell, of course. About 30 hours in the vinegar, that's all you smell. Mm -hmm. That's all you smell. So 
So I'm gonna put actually an extra two cups in because I remember last time I actually went a little bit light on the sugar because the first batch I ever made was a little sweet. So I forgot to say that when you were adding the sugar. So we just added two more cups of vinegar that'll probably dilute it enough. Um, so now let's get this going. And all we gotta do is heat it enough to dissolve the sugar and then we'll be good to go. That is a lot of sugar. There we go. Let's loosen up from the bottom, it's not too bad. There we go. That electric sharpener you have is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> You say 25 bucks? 25, 30 bucks, something like that. That's neat. Oh. You know, pick it up at Fleet Farm? Yeah, I will have to invest in one of those. Well, we do enough cooking that it makes sense. I just have one of the uh, little handheld sharpeners. You know, and it works. It does not nearly get it as sharp as the one you have. That's even close. So once we get all this sugar dissolved in the vinegar, we're going to have to cool it down. Um, if we put it in the fish while it's warm, it'll soften the fish up. Okay. So we're gonna set it outside, probably in a pile of snow or something. Help cool it down a little bit, and uh, then we'll be ready to add the fish, or add the, uh, first add the wine and the pickling spice, and then jar it up. One of the perks of living in Minnesota, basically a built-in fridge when you're out, when you got outside. Or freezer. Yeah. Today, today last, last week it was a very good freezer. Yeah, last week was a freezer. This week it's uh, a little bit of a fridge action. Yep. You never know with Minnesota. I don't like the weather. Just wait a minute. I mean, what do we have? We have something like 60 degree temperature swing in a week? Pretty much. Negative 20 to 40. That's funny, when we lived in Naples, my dad would come down for two weeks at a time in February, usually the coldest month in Minnesota. It would be up over 100 degrees difference sometimes. So we're thinking cutting these into like quarter inch thick slices, um, eighth, eighth inch slices. Um, yeah, I would probably, yeah, that's good. And I'd probably cut them in half. Okay. Or if you want to cut the petals more or less, like so at the same time, so it's like these. Okay. Whatever. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. So you cut that like cut eight that. times like a pizza. And then, or cut it first, cut, first, cut, cut it in half. half. Yeah, cut it in half. Cut it in half and then slice that. And then slice like a pizza. Yeah. That's funny. I can cut any onions and my eyes don't water, with the exception of red onions. They are by far the strongest onion. Of the onion colors. Of the bunch. Of the onion colors. Hey, Ransom. But definitely produce the best pickled onions by far. Yep. And they look better. They do. Adds a nice pop of color. Hey, man, presentation's important. Okay, so I think that this sugar is fully dissolved. It's pretty clear now, so I think my eyes are completely better. I'm gonna bring this outside now and uh, let her cool off. So let the solution cool off for a little bit and then yeah. add the pickling spice, the wine. Then jars from there, huh? Yep. I am putting the pickling spice in these little cloth bags just because I've made it before and it kind of sucks when you get a bunch of bay leaves or a bunch of mustard seeds stuck to one piece. It kind of ruins the flavor of that piece. So this will let them have the pickling flavor but not have all the spices all over the pieces. So it's a nice little trick. No, that's a smart, that's really smart. It's a nice way to do it. Where'd you get those cloth bags at? Amazon. Really? Yep. I think they're made for loose leaf tea. Okay, 
enough. This should be cold enough now. I'm good to go. We still got about 60. How is that going? Really good. I feel like one jar in, and we're gonna use a lot more jars than we think. I think there's not. I wouldn't be stuff them that tight. Not, not quite that tight. Yeah, you go on a little bit of room. A little bit of wiggle. To like shake them to get that juice and stuff mixed around. I think that's pretty good. There. I think we're gonna have less onion than. Well, we do have less onion than less fish. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't need to make mine super onion heavy. We know your dad wants them, so. If we spill on them, we're gonna wanna rinse them off. Because the last time I did this, I was left with some really sticky jars. All right, so there it is. Nine pint jars and three quart jars. Literally used every last drop of the pickling liquid. Nine pints? Did you really forget how to count? 19 pints in total. Or seven and a half pounds of fish. Or just a big old mess of fish. It's a lot of fish. It's a lot of fish. So we're gonna try this next weekend? When we go up ice fishing? Yeah, it should be good by then. Yeah, it'd be good. Five days, I mean, think the guys will I mean, like it. We can eat it right now. It's just not gonna have, have the much flavor. pickle flavor embedded into it. Okay.